So viewers, welcome back. I've been getting a bit done. Perhaps I'll start at the front and go to the back. I'm gonna make I'm gonna condense everything. I'm gonna sort of make try and make it more interesting. I think I was getting lost in detail. Although some people would like to know all that detail. I don't think many would like to know that detail. But Something I do to all my bikes with a narrow glide front end, I lower the front mudguard. Fender. I lower the fender. Makes changes the whole look of the bike. You ask Mr. Alan Ness. R.I.P. Mr. Alan Ness. The flowing lines, it just it goes from looking bit awkward to looking smooth so five eighths of an inch exactly um, I'm just going to give you little tips along the way so I'll look at my pretty engine I've been pretty in the engine I'll tell you about that in a minute Put my camera on the back of a chair. That's okay. So, how do I do five eighths of an inch? I get a vernier. I just eyeball it, the centre of the hole. Then I go up there and I do a scratch. Then I come over. This one, they're not always the same. Then I come over, same. I ball the centre of the hole, do a scratch. Around the other side, do the same. Yeah, that one looks the same. Do a scratch. Ah, that one looks the same do a scratch then oh, that's nearly correct I eyeball the centre of the hole and if this had a battery in it I would zero it and then I get a five eighths of an inch which is 625 thou or 16 millimetre uh, from Actually, the distance, just a fraction more than that, would go 5 eighths. Is that 5 eighths? Yeah. Yeah. Don't copy me. So, yeah, if the Vernier had the battery and it was working, you'd guess the centre, add on 16 mil or 625 thou, go scratch. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it because I am gonna drill this guard anyway. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Center punch, center punch, center punch, center punch. Drill, drill. Go a little bit bigger. That's five sixteenths. You want to go five sixteenths clearance, which is oh, I don't know how many sixty fourths. A bit bigger. Go a bit bigger because when you put it on the bike, when you put it on the bike, just so you got a bit of a bit of tilt, yeah. You know, like if you be like me and put this lump of metal on the front of it, I'm a bit of a lightweight freak. I can't believe I did that. Uh, yeah. All right, so that's lower in the front mudguard. Worth doing. So now we've done the engine. Because this bike had been sitting for so long, I wanted to have a look inside there anyway. So I pulled all this to bits. I pulled the top off the engine. So if you were doing new base gaskets, same job. Why not pretty it all up? while you're doing your base gaskets 
um, apart from the polishing here, you can do everything yourself. Even the polishing. They're chrome rocker boxes. I can polish it to make it look exactly like that on the alloy ones. So I have repainted the barrels, repainted the heads, and I've colour matched the centre plate to the tank. So you can actually see it matches the front guard. That's they all match. That's called Smoky Gold Factory Harley Color. It's a factory tank. I've painted everything else, but the tank is factory paint. I'm not that good. See, I'm cheating. I'm doing it the cheats way. I'm okay. I'm good enough to do the other bits, but I'm not good enough to do a tank. Because the tank is so visible, it has to be good. It has to be real good. Maybe one day I'll be good enough. Maybe not. So, secrets. Let me tell you some secrets. Important thing I've learned from the last engine I did. Spend, pay special attention to the push rod seals. You don't want them leaking because you're going to pull the whole lot up to bits again if they leak. Especially on this one. <coughs> no, on all of them you're going to have to. Well, maybe if you've got easy push rods, I don't know. But, yeah, make pay special attention. So you have to undo this. You can't just poke it into the rubber. It's a thin, special seal. You have to undo that, fit it on the tube, then put it all back together. But you're going to clean and polish the tubes anyway while you've got it apart, aren't you? And paint the barrels and paint the heads. I'll show you what paint I use. My paint of choice is epoxy enamel. It's not that dear, it's about $12. I find it durable, um, doesn't seem to mind the heat. It's, what else do I like about it? It's black, it's real black. My criticism of powder coat is it's not properly black, it's smoky black, it's grey black. See, I've touched up the frame down here too. Looks better than new, doesn't it? Yeah, so what I want to show you is my little tr secret. This is one of my trade secrets. This is when I'm masking up, when I'm going to paint. So I just roll up a bit of sandpaper. And that's how I do the edges. If I had two hands and I was holding it, it would be a whole lot quicker. And if I rolled up the paper for a but you get the idea. Now, why I do it like that, you get a real nice edge. You don't get a big lumpy edge or anything. So that's my little secret there. This is a hot rod head off my FXR. It's got a little test spring in there. Um, what else can I tell you? I think that's that's enough at the moment. Oh, when you're doing the heads. Oh, when I put the pistons back in, there's a couple of ways of doing it. I always used to put it on the conrod, and then I saw someone, they put the piston in the barrels first, and then they put the barrel over the top and then slide the conrod in. Well, that is much easier, I can tell you. Try it. If you haven't tried it before... I'm not going to tell you how to do all that. I'm thinking you have to have sort of some knowledge. All I'm saying is it's easy. If you haven't worked on a Harley engine, you've worked on car engines, or you've worked on a different motorbike, even if it's a little Honda, 
you can work on this engine. It's not very complicated. It's simple. You can work on Harley engines. And even if you'd never done this before, if you had, say, chrome covers, that's the only thing might slow you down, a bit of polishing. Or even if you took them to a polisher, they're going to be less than 100 bucks to polish a lot. You should be able to pull the top end off, paint it, clean it, put it back together, paint the centre ring in eight hours, I reckon. So you'll do it on a weekend. Half a dozen cans. Oh, maybe a few more. And... That's, that's it. I can show you the inner go, but it's not really very exciting, is it? Oh, I think that's... No, that's something worth mentioning. Let me take this off. It's just sitting. So, if you're mounting something that didn't come with a bike, always try and mount it on the original bracket. It's just... It just life's a whole lot better. Plus, officially you're not allowed to weld onto a frame. I don't think anyone would notice in there, but... I think that's it for the day. So was it worth doing? Was the engine worth doing? Mine looks better than yours. Mine looks better than yours. Over and out.